Once again this week, we're all about the revisions. In particular, I want you to focus on your illustrative essay. Because this is persuasive, it needs to have a clear claim, what you are arguing, stated in a forecasting thesis. Quick review, a thesis statement should have three parts. Subject, whatever it is you're talking about. The claim, whatever it is you are arguing about whatever it is you're talking about. And the forecast, the main points that you are to plan to discuss in your essay. Make sure that your thesis is located at the end of your introduction and that it includes all three parts. Make sure, too, that your claim focuses on the specific question that the genre is asking. For the illustrative essay, you need to be defining a new or misunderstood category of a text, story, or character. Then, you need to give us three examples of this category to illustrate your ideas. Forecast these three examples in your thesis statement. The first step in any revision is to make sure that your claim is clear and on topic. If you haven't written the right type of essay or if you didn't respond to the prompt, then you have significant revisions in your future. After you're sure of your claim, focus on your support. And after you're happy with your support, then think about organization. Revising persuasive essays is a lot about guiding your reader, so make sure first and foremost that you have that clear three-part thesis at the end of your introduction. If not, that's priority one. Then make sure that your thesis actually matches the essay that you wrote and not just the one that you imagined. Sometimes as we write, our ideas shift. That's fine, good even. It shows that you're thinking as you work. But if that has happened, you need to revise your thesis to match the new ideas. One helpful trick is to read through your introduction and then immediately read through your conclusion. Do they belong to the same paper? Because you wrote your conclusion after you wrote your essay and not before, it's much more likely to match your actual essay. So, if your intro and conclusion sound like they belong to different essays, you need to spend some time revising that introduction. Remember, the introduction has three main goals. Get your reader's attention, introduce your topic, and give the readers any background information that they need and that all-important thesis statement to guide your reader. The body of your essay, too, needs to be written with your readers in mind. Make sure that you have a clear topic sentence and transition for each paragraph, and of course that the paragraph is actually about that topic. Echo the language that you used in your thesis in your topic sentences. Revision really is all about the reader. You need to make sure that you're guiding them through your ideas in a way that will make sense to them. You're trying to get all of the amazing brilliance rolling around in your head across to someone else. It's not easy since no one else thinks quite like you. You need to give them a roadmap through your ideas so they don't get lost and your transitions and topic sentences will provide that. One of the most important sections in the essay is the conclusion, but in drafts it often gets overlooked. You reach the end of your ideas and you're so relieved that you just throw a couple of sentences at the bottom of the page and call it done. Believe me, I've been there. But this is the last impression that you get to make on your readers. You wanted to say, remember these great ideas I've laid out? Pay attention, they're interesting and important. And not, I'm over it and you should be too. Feel free to move on with your life. If your ideas don't stick with the reader, then you haven't succeeded in persuading them of anything. Take the time to wrap up your ideas in your conclusion. You can again echo the language from your introduction as a subtle reminder in case they've forgotten what you argued on page one by the time that they hit page five. Also, try to leave them thinking. Tell them what's important about your ideas. Ask them to do something. Make your essay relevant to them, and they'll be more likely to remember it. Just like your first essay, this needs to be carefully revised on four levels. Content, organization, style, and mechanics. Content is all about the argument and support. Organization should focus on guiding your readers. Your style needs to be formal and authoritative. Watch your use of the first and second person. And your mechanics needs to focus on sentence structure and proper MLA citation. If you need help with this, you know how to reach me. You have three and a half weeks to finish your portfolio, so I recommend you plan out a schedule for what you need to do. Because of the tight turnaround from when you turn in the portfolios and when I have to submit grades, I will not accept late assignments unless there are extreme mitigating circumstances. I'm talking space junk fill in your house kinds of extreme. So plan carefully, and if you need help, ask. The earlier you ask the question, the more helpful my answers will be.